Okay, hi guys. It's been a long time since I've uh, done a video, but today I've got a pretty special one. Um, my last video was, uh, I think, a London trip one. But today, uh, we're very lucky because I'm finally going to be able to do another unboxing video. And for that unboxing video, we have get it out. I'm pretty excited and I'm late to the game so don't hold that against me but I have the PS4 Batman edition. Uh, really excited. Batman, you guys probably don't know, I might have talked about it in my comic book video, um, but Batman is my favourite comic book hero and probably my favourite role model for what he stands for and everything. So, I'm super excited to get this, um, so that's going to be the first part, and then after that, we also have the white PlayStation 4 controller, I bought this one for Cassie, because um, the PlayStation actually comes with one, um, and then we've got a bundle of games, which I will be doing reviews of on my YouTube channel. So I've got the Batman game, of course, that came with the PlayStation 4. I've got Little Big Planet 3. Uh, we've got Elder Scrolls Online that came again with the PlayStation 4. Uh, I've got Murdered Soul Suspect. And last, I've got Crimes and Punishment, the Sherlock Holmes. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a review of those, you can find them on my channel, they'll be coming out in the weeks to come, but let's get started with this review, sorry, not review, unboxing, let's get started, just got trusty scissors to open the box, alright, unfortunately the box came a little bit damaged, but I'm not too fussed about that, let's get it out. Actually, let's first have a look at the box. So, on the front, you've got a big-ass Batman in his Arkham Knight costume. You've got the console itself, the game, and content that was exclusive to the PlayStation 4 only. It's the Scarecrow Nightmare Mission Pack. I don't have any idea what that is. Um, and on the back, you've got your content that is unlockable in game. Uh, you got a few images. So the content that comes with the game is the Scarecrow DLC, uh, the Justice League 3000 Batman, the classic TV screen Batman, so from the 1966 Batman, and the last one, classic, no? What's that one? Oh, classic TV Batmobile skin. So the 1966 Batman. Alright, let's open it up. You'll probably hear my cat running around in the background. We just got a new kitten, which I might introduce on the channel too. Let's see if I can get it to come over to me. But first, white box, pretty standard. Um, yeah, very standard. Ooh, okay. I think we're going to start with the controller. Alright, controller in the case. Oh, accidentally just turned it on. Apparently it's got some charge in it. But here we go. I'm moving closer so you can get a better look. Come on, focus. The camera is having the most hard time focusing on that. I think it's the light that's reflecting. Unfortunately, I can't get it any closer, but it's this beautiful gunmetal grey, I want to say. It's got a really nice shine to it. Um, again, pretty standard PlayStation 4 controller, just in that nice grey. Now, I actually haven't played very much of the PlayStation 4, because I'm mainly an Xbox gamer. Um, but I'm really excited because apparently this controller is really nice to use and 
I used to play PlayStation quite a bit, so I'm really excited to get my hands on the new and improved DualShock 4, I think it's called. Cool. Um, let's move on. There is your standard, I don't know, book. Welcome to the world of PlayStation. Um, pretty useless, don't care about that. What else have we got? Um, now we have the charging cable for the controller. Just uses a micro USB. A pissy little headphone. Now I heard about this. Sorry about that, that was the cat. I heard about this one. And it's just this tiny little one ear piece. Like one with a tiny microphone. They couldn't afford two. I don't know. It's just you're spending a lot of money on a console and you get a single one. It just seems strange. But we'll put that aside. I've got my own headset that I use, which I'll actually show in this video. So yep, you your charge cable. And what I love about the PlayStation, it runs on a single power co cable. That's it. That's all they use. There's no power brick like the Xbox. Because the Xbox one, it does actually take up quite a bit of room. Um, it's sometimes quite awkward, but I think they're fixing that in the near future. We have a HDMI. It looks like a 2 meter, maybe a 1.5 meter. Um, but it's always nice when they come with this. It's frustrating if they don't you have to go out and buy a HDMI. It just means less time gaming because you've got to work out the, that situation. Uh, but we'll unravel it, see how long we're dealing with. Um, I'm not really sure how long it's going to be. It looks like it's a two meter. Here we go. Oh, it could actually be a 2.5. That is a 2.5 meter HDMI cable. Which is, that's really nice. I really like when they come with that. Cool. Um, and the power cord, of course, as shown. Now for the real, now for the real thing. This is, I mean, this is what we're all excited about. Alright. Let's open her up. Ooh, here we go. I've already I've just saw it and it looks really sexy. Like really, really nice. Alright. There it is. The Batman console. That is a beautiful, beautiful gunmetal grey. Um and what I love about it is, as you can see on the camera, yes, there are words here that say Batman Arkham Knight, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really like how they're just branding it, but I mean, they have to. But what I love about it is from that distance, you can't read it. All you can really see is that Batman and that huge bat symbol on his chest and the PlayStation symbol. So it, it's kind of hidden from a distance, which is nice, because then it's like, it's just a Batman console, it's not a Batman Arkham Knight console. Um, but it looks absolutely stunning. So I'll move it in. As you can see, the Batman Arkham Knight words. Again, not focusing, I think the light in here is making it glitch out a little bit. That's okay. So there it is, guys. The back back and that's the front and again this is kind of my first time looking from at the PlayStation 4 because I've just been with Xbox so this is really nice it's got a really nice matte finish on the bottom and then a nice glossy bit up here where the bat symbol or the Batman is um, I can see already that it's going to be very prone to fingerprints and dust but that's okay the Xbox is black and the Xbox is shocking for dust. Um, I got an extra game. I got an extra PlayStation 4 version of the Batman Arkham Knight. I believe that they didn't realize at EB that the actual console came with a version of Batman. And they've given me another version of Batman. 
So, I'm yet to decide what I'm going to do with this version. But you might be lucky and I may be giving one away. So, stay tuned, share this video, like the video. It really helps me out exposing my whole video channel. And it may win you a copy of Batman Arkham Knight for PlayStation 4. So there we go guys. There's the controller again. The great PlayStation 4 controller. The PlayStation. And that is the unboxing of Batman Arkham Knight console. Thanks guys.